Hello there, Golfer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mass Effect 3, where last left off we were on the Citadel, but now we're back in the Normandy. And we're gonna go do some stuff. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Commander? Okay, before we do any more anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, run up and talk to Joker and Edie. I wanted to try that out a little bit ago. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with my... Yes, Shepard? How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Yeah. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Does that body have any useful advantages? Besides not being alive? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. Uh... <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> that better be a joke. <laughs> Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Okay. Used a map. Um, I think all we have to do is to meet with a diplomat aside from stuff I have to do on the Citadel. Kite's Nest. Actually, wasn't there something I needed to do there? Let me just take a quick peek at my journal. 
find the pillars in the kite's nest. Kite's nest, yeah. Make sure we do that before each mission. Do these little ones. Something. Whoa. Apparently they're I didn't need that. Go. Weapon upgrade kit. Not what I'm looking for. Eh. Good thing I found it though. Pillars of Strength. Are they like... No, I got 100%. I was wondering if they're going to beat anymore. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we're going to go meet with diplomats. Okay. Let's do this. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan? As a name, Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. What's your concern? Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you cease to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatras, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people miscalculated. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise that Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Um... But the Krogan deserve a cure. I mean, you freaking did that to them. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years. 
If you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? You need allies. How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Except I happen to have two and you're all by your lonesome. Six points. Power and duration by 25%. Ugh. Well, I don't know if I think tackle technically falls under that. So twenty five percent increase to that. I don't really use my tax that much though. I usually only use like ammo weapons, so we'll get this one. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Be friendly. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Retrieving the female should be a simple matter. Who's the synthetic? I'm Edie, the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Sounds like Joker didn't teach you anything about Solarians. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Hey, buddy. Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? This one are you a biotic, Rex? We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. 
But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <laughs> Stay here, Rex. I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Isn't that the Shadow Careful. Broker thing? Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Uh, sensitive information? What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Trent. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Messing with genetics. Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Okay. Can I like not do anything? This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No one. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> <laughs> this Krogan has a unique style of communication. He's an acquired taste. Back on the Normandy, he said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Rabinor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. Radioactive? <laughs> Garrus. I have to make friends with the one Turian in the galaxy who thinks he's funny. Imagine how I feel. I'm supposed to hate Krogan, but you came along and warmed my heart with your winning personality. <laughs> I could throw a few Solarians off a cliff, if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> what do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. A harsh but necessary decision. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. Uh-huh. It's been good talking to you again. It'll I be really better like better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <laughs> I really like how they have the different um talking with the different um members. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope. Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, I'm not so sure. Security seems high. You've revealed the existence of Krogan, who are immune to the genophage. Word will get out. We're now a prime target. 
This is the only way to get the Krogan and Turians to cooperate. And us? Will we pay for your political expediency? A part of me admires the Solarian capacity for considering all outcomes. And the other part? One wonders how many allies you'll have left when this war is over. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated, but our scientists insisted we bring them back for study. I don't need science to tell me Fertile Krogan will be dangerous. I hope we don't pay for misguided mercy. I know another race that doesn't believe in mercy. They're called Reapers. Maybe you'd like to go work for them instead. What did you hear about Verma? You helped Captain Kirahe's squad destroy Saren's cure for the Genophage. Which is ironic, considering you've come here to safeguard another cure. I wonder if Kirahe's men died in vain. Of course not. Saren was raising an army of Krogan slaves to fight his war. This is different. Is it? Seems to me that's the same thing the Turians want. Except the part about the slaves, and the indoctrination, and destroying the galaxy. Yeah, just a little bit. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. They don't have, like, space stuff, though. The Krogan aren't the problem anymore. At least as far as I the know, they don't have, like, spaceships. Are. For now. But once the Reapers are dealt with, history will repeat. An outcome that can't be discounted. It sounds like you you're upsetting a balance of... And if you succeed... The Solarians uplifted the Krogan. You wanted them violent. And then we neutered them when we realized our mistake. The same mistake you're making all over again. One hopes with Erdnot Rex as the Krogan leader. Their tendency for violence can be controlled. Hope is hardly a winning strategy. That's all we got. Um, the Reapers. Are the Solarians ready to fight the Reapers? Best way to win a fight is to avoid it altogether. So no. But now this business with the Krogan, you may have drawn us into it. You act like the Reapers are giving anyone a choice. We'll see. Good day. Luke. I hope you can keep. You're annoying. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan. Please don't touch that. Okay. And over here. Another oh. incursion. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the Genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Hmm. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. I love how they all uh, speak English. I don't like what I'm hearing. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble readiness teams. What's happening? Oh. Yeah, it was Cerberus. <laughs> Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. I think that's Cerberus. No, it's a Turian ship? Oh, looks like a Sirius, or Cerberus ship. Base personnel must remain on site until further notice. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Hey, look who it Shepherd. is. Excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morton. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free females. You must be Rex's inside source. 
Yes, can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. You did your best. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? I can't imagine what she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Why so worried? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Aside from locking you up. Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Are those Reapers? Then I hope you brought an army. Wait, we got... Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Yeah, it is her, Russ. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. <laughs> Objection noted. <laughs> Please release Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachunke again. I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, yes, you're concussive for now. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. Oh, come there. on. Try it now, Commander. Oh, jeez. Get back! What the heck? How did they already get bombs and crap in there? Commander, Shepard, are you alright? Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. An emergency exit. Going now. So is there anything around? Yes. Cerberus forces trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Guess we're gonna have to use the stairs. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Hello. Oh, jeez. Why are they against the cure? They like seem to be doing the exact opposite of what I'm doing.
Okay. Take cover. Gosh darn it, there's no cover right here. You didn't have a head, what the heck? That's not what I asked you to do, E. Thank you. Oh jeez. Careful. There goes the next shadow broker. Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Wait, really? Was that the shadow breaker? Broker? Be funny as I'll get out. Come on. That's not what I wanted you to do. Go. Why couldn't I hit him? I was trying to hit him with my, uh, Attack, but no, apparently not. My uh, Omni Blade. Ah, oh, that's who was shooting me. Quickly, Shepard. Technician dead. Clear us through the checkpoint. Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in the STG could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Hurry! Next checkpoint! Beautiful. Hook your head. All hostiles are down. Not eliminated? <laughs> Robot would say eliminated. Cerberus isn't fooling around. 
They're capable of anything. Their tactics have grown even more vicious since I was acquainted with them. Oh, great. Currents. And this is probably on an easier difficulty the first time you see them, too. Well, I have something for you. Maybe a better approach. Keep moving. I'll handle them. We have to Again. I thought I hacked that. Damn, we got the Solarian. Wait, did you just shoot a Solarian? Why is my health so low? I don't ever recall taking that much damage. Oh, jeez. That could have been bad. No more enemies in sight. To the next checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus isn't done. But uh, I am with this episode, so uh, thank you very much for watching, and God bless.